Tennessee has low voter turnout, but there's one Tennessean going the extra mile to get his ballot, though it's more like 250 miles, all above the earth. Today, astronaut Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore spoke publicly for the first time since their spacecraft returned to Earth without them. What started out as an eight-day mission has turned into a months-long stay aboard the International Space Station. But Wilmore from Mount Juliet says that isn't keeping them from voting this November. I sent down my request for a ballot today, as a matter of fact, uh, and they should get it to us in a couple of weeks. And absolutely, yes, uh, it's a very important uh, role that we all play as citizens is to uh, be included in those elections, and NASA makes it very easy for us to do that. So we're excited about that opportunity. On how many stamps are going to have to use. Wilmore and Williams originally blasted off aboard the new Boeing Starliner, but after repeated issues, the NASA astronauts moved to the ISS, International Space Station, and the Starliner returned to Earth without them. Wilmore and Williams are expected to return home, but not until February of 2025.